Jail. Matt Tavern will train today. Is that going to be the final test for him to play this weekend? Oh, he'll give us some good information. Um, he won't do all the session, but he'll do some. Um, yeah, like I said last night, he won't, we won't take any risks with him, but um, if it was just a corky, we'll play him. How frustrating is it for him not to be able to really string together more than four games in a row? Yeah, well, it is frustrating for everyone. And like I've said all along, we want him back at his best because he's a really important player for us. Um, yeah, there's some glimpses of that on the weekend. Uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully we've dodged a bullet and um, he does play this week and you know, the lower game time on the weekend might be a bonus. And where Josh Tracy plays depends on Matt's fitness, is that a fair assessment? Uh, no, no we'll, we'll get through training and we'll decide on selection. Um, I'm hoping Tabs gets up so I haven't really crossed that bridge yet. So just no. on, um, on Tabernacle, was that his call to come off? Was that he, he felt he wasn't right? Uh, yeah, he felt he wasn't right. Um, yeah, he, he didn't really have an instance where he, he felt his hemi go or anything like that, but he felt something there. So, um, yeah, he's had history on that hemi, and, um, yeah, it was just no risk policy to, to take him out of the game. It was, it was a no-brainer, really. So, um, yeah, we've got some fortunate news with the scan. We'll just have to see how it goes today. At some point, does he become a liability because of you know, his ability to get through games? Well, maybe at some point, but we're definitely not there yet. You mentioned no risk. Uh, is it worth putting him on that flight if he is still touch and go? No, we, we wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's Lloyd Meek, perhaps, if he doesn't play Tracy. Oh, we've got a lot of options. Fights, no, we've got a lot of options. Um, you know, Banners was our sub. Liam Henry's cut back from, back from um, injury this week. Um, and the two guys that have been mentioned. So there's a fair few options there. We haven't locked anything away. And, and Chapman? Yeah, Chappie will play this week. Um, we'll wait for him to get through training before we decide um, where he plays. Uh, he's been out of, out, of, out of footy for five weeks now, so that's a pretty long period of time. So we'll just weigh that up after he gets, gets through training. What did you make of Liam Henry's game against Carlton? I uh, thought, yeah, he showed some really good signs. And... Um, yeah, it was really unfortunate that he hurt himself late in that game and missed last week. So, um, yeah, we'll get him through training and see where it sits for selection. Is it fair to say there's a bit of a squeeze on them with a few blokes pushing the combat? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and it's going to be more so over the next couple of weeks. So we're hoping to get Blake Akers back next week and uh, um, Nathan Driscoll returns to footy next week. So, <clears throat> yeah, touch wood, it's, it's looking pretty good. So... Um, yeah, Peel's going to have a pretty strong team over the next few weeks and there's going to be a lot of pressure on for spots on in the AFL side. Would you like to bring Akers straight into the seniors? Oh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Just on right. Liam, like, he's shown glimpses of his talent, but he doesn't seem to be able to be consistent at AFL level. What's he got to do to sort of really become an AFL player? Oh, I think um, yeah, probably four or five weeks previous to him getting an AFL recall, he's really consistent with his intensity and contest work at, um, at waffle level. Um, and sometimes young players need that body of work. I think we forget, um, you know, the maturity Liam came to when he came, well, came with when he came to the club. He, he'd only played school footy, his light frame, um, and, he, and he was injured <laughs> with that patella knee, which was uh, pretty serious. So um, yeah, he probably got some games early because of injury and and, and that. But um, you know, he's I've been really pleased with his attitude. Um, his attention to detail and working on the things that we want him to work on, um, especially around that contest and, and team defence. And yeah, I thought he's, I think he's put in a pretty good body of work um, in the last yeah, six or seven weeks. So um, yeah, he's really maturing, which is good to see. Jay, with Andy and Saron, are you thinking at all maybe they could start to get a bit tired and need some other support, or are you thinking blokes will be coming back, or? And what about Monday? Does he really need a break at all? Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on those things. Um, you know, Dave, we, we just had a, we just had a buy, so we're only two weeks post buy. Um, you know, uh, Caleb missed a game earlier in the year with, um, or maybe a couple of games earlier in the year, around three and maybe four. So um, yeah, Andy's probably the one we're, we're monitoring, and I think we can. Um, those guys that have had ga high game time, high workloads, we can monitor them during the week and probably notice Andy at training, missing a couple of drills and his loads during the week are a little bit lighter so we can prep him right for weekends. But yeah, I don't really want to be 
telling him that message that he's missing a game because of management. <laughs> I don't think he'll cop that very well. And you know, he's put in so much work over the last four or five pre-seasons that his body's matured and he can handle it. So, um, yeah, touch wood, he keeps going like he is. Where's Sam Sturt at now? I remember you had that message about he needs to do more and you know, whatever. Where's he at now? Yeah, he needs to just string games together. We spoke about um, Liam before. He's in a similar boat. He just needs to play at a high intensity at... Um, waffle level, um, you know, bring some really good pressure to the forward line and um, you know, impact where he can uh, and um, make sure he's consistent with that quarter in, quarter out, week in, week out. And um, that holds you, in, if you can do that, that holds you in good stead for AFL footy. And I think we've seen that with Liam, um, the way he came into the team against Carlton. He's probably one of our better players and shining lights in that game. So, um, yeah, Sturdy needs to do the same thing. I know you don't want to give away too much, but Nathan Wilson, really good. Chapman comes back, you've got your back lines full again. Is there, you have to make another decision? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, that decision will come. Yep, I was really happy with Wilson's game on the weekend. I think you, everyone's seen the, the efforts in the last quarter when the game was on the line. Um, you know, he's another guy that's been performing at a high level at Peel for a number of weeks with his, um, with his role and his leadership. And he, he came straight back in um, off the back of that and performed well. So. Uh, it's a good message for all our players playing at Peel. Justin, what do you know about Sam Strakowski's injury now? What's that looking like? Uh, yeah, I probably haven't got the detail to comment on his injury, but he's going to look to um, run next week, and um, that's always a good sign when you're out in the green stuff running around. So, um, And then we'll progress his loads from there. Um, yeah, he's probably missed four, four or five weeks, so it'll probably take you know, three or four weeks for us to build him up. Heath Chapman again. Not a lot of players. I think you bring back off five weeks out. What what is it about his game that values so highly? A oh, lot, lot of it, to be honest. Um, yeah, he's so so good in the contest. Um, yeah, he's one of those players that's able to um, turn defence into offence straight away. And um, oh, and added to that, he's can he can play on smalls and talks. So he's pretty. He's, he, adds, he adds a lot to our game. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the decision making is making sure that we return them in the right way so that they can get continuity in their game, and um, that'll be the main decision with Chappie. Justin, we've got a oh, sorry, sorry, missed the opportunity last time by the Saints of the player Max King. Is he sort of looking forward to that opportunity? Yeah, they're probably they're probably playing an extra tall down there now as well with with the rider Marshall combo. Um, um, so yeah, we're going to need our height in the back line. And um, you know, I think Pearcey and Cox are in really good form, so they'll be up to the challenge. You've got um, four games in a row, four away games in a row at, at Marvel. Is that helpful? Do you almost think of it as a second home ground? Yeah, well, in some ways it is help. The familiarity is is helpful. Um, it's a ground that we've um, played some pretty good footy at. Like our last game against Carlton wasn't where we need it to be, but previous to that we had a win against Collingwood, a win against Essendon there. So. We played some decent footy there, and um, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, playing at similar grounds week in, week out, it does help. So the lines you've got drawn there—that's that, Marvel Dimensions, isn't it? That you've... I'm not sure. <laughs> they, 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 with the ground size is probably not a big, a big deal compared to here. So we haven't specifically put the lines in. I don't think. So it's, what, what about keeping you out of the rain? Is that helpful? Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we, we look forward to those challenges, like. Um, I don't think our form has been great in the rain, clearly, but um, the next time it comes, we'll be embracing it. This time last week, we were talking about your centre bounce troubles, and then I think you had your best centre bounce numbers of the season. You obviously made a, a significant brave decision to let your captain out of there. Um, what do you, do you feel a sense of confidence of the indication would be without him, or did, did what happened was that a lot to do with Port not having a specialist right now? Uh, it was probably more about just embedding our roles for Nathan and um, also our midfielders and giving them more clarity and, and probably starting again really, with really basic roles. And we did that around stoppage as well. Um, but no, that won't be the role every week. Um, I, I think Nathan, at his best, can add, us, add to us at centre bounce. He's proven that over years and years. So um, we'll look at the right time to inject him in there. Port, Port had a couple of shots on goal very late. So if one of those had gone through, you have a centre bounce with a minute to go or something. How tempted would you have been to, to throw him into that? Oh, probably, that's, uh, that's probably a fair way from thinking because it's one of those things that you sort of, you get the feel of 
in game and the more you're in there, the more you understand what the opposition is doing. And so going in there fresh probably seems like a good idea, but um, might not be. Um, yeah, I've got full faith in our midfielders and um, I think they've proven all year that they, they stand up in there and I would have backed them in again. Are you prepared to get back over there and get a heap more five questions and all that? <laughs> <laughs> done the job because I didn't get one on the news last night and that was my first one today so and I understand the fascination and I've got fascination around Fifey and where he plays and all that but I just want to make sure that we set him up the best we can for the team to perform and for him to perform and me giving a running commentary on his game time is probably not helping that so that's where it sits. Sorry last one yep. and you don't put on. How did, how did Nat react when he was told permanent for no centre bounces today? He, he's embraced everything we're, we're doing and um, he embraced his role on the weekend and um, I thought he performed it really well. And we'll keep adding layers to what he's doing and how he's playing and where he can go in game and those type of things. But, um, yeah, he, he's whatever the team needs and he'll do whatever the team needs. And I think he, he showed that on the weekend and his attitude's reflected that all year.